Okay, guys, welcome back. Now we've reached another great milestone. You know, again, congratulations if you got to this stage. Um, you know, I really hope uh, that your confidence is now, you know, getting very, very high and that you're seeing how easy and simple Shopify is. Um, you know, I don't want to repeat myself, but maybe in the beginning, you know, you're kind of intimidated by this whole thing. And as we go through, you know, this is my whole, my job here, I feel, is to, um, you know, is to make you feel super comfortable with this really fantastic tool. So here we are now on orders. You know, we've got everything set up now. We have chosen a plan so people can actually order off of our site or off of the site you are designing. And on the subject of design, you know, I hope by this stage, also, you know, you spent quite a bit of time tinkering with that home page, making the site look really, really good. We're going to get into apps in a bit, which is going to help also improve the sort of the functionality of your site as well. So we're not done by any stretch. But, you know, this course isn't a uh, an amazing design course on Shopify. It's far more functional than that, teaching you how it actually all works. Right. So, you know, but I hope you've been back. You've got a great looking logo and your site is really starting to look very, very cool. Anyway, so here we are on orders. Now, when it comes to e-commerce, 99% of our orders are gonna come through the site. That's just kind of the way it is, yeah? Now, Shopify, of course, does allow you to take orders over the phone uh, and things like that, and we'll have a look at that in a moment, but I'm gonna focus on that uh, website order and just demonstrate to you how it works. Very, very simple, right? So what I've done here, is I've chosen this uh, this uh, uh, this squeaky chew toy thing for this dog. Okay, in case you're getting a bit freaked out by that, uh, it's just this funny thing here, right? That the dog puts in its mouth. I'm sure you've uh, well, I don't know whether you have seen something like that, but there you go. That's what it does. Uh, kind of makes me laugh. So I, I put that in there as an example. So all we're going to do is add to the cart, right? And I'm going to move now to the checkout. Now I should say straight away that I have integrated PayPal, okay? Just done a very quick, simple integration with my PayPal account, my existing one. And I hope you've had the opportunity to add in some sort of payment provider, yeah? Be it Shopify Payments or Stripe or PayPal or indeed any other, all right? And you've managed to sort of get to this point where the customer has the opportunity to, to buy through one of your payment providers. So there we go, PayPal is the chosen one. If there were other ones up here, then they would show, right? So the customer would have a choice which way to go. But this is then very, very simple. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I suspect that most of the people doing this course have bought something off the web at some point. So I'm not gonna patronize you by going through all of this, but it's simply, you know, the customer information and the shipping address, right? Very, very easy. And what I've done is I went back and I set my shipping to basically be free. So that when I click on continue to shipping method, all right, I had a couple of different shipping methods uh, in there, but basically you can see that shipping is free. And I would generally, generally <laughs> advise you to put in free shipping because one of the big turnoffs when people get to the checkout, as I said before, is you know sort of surprise additional stuff, surprise taxes, surprise shipping, all this kind of stuff. A lot of people run away at that point. So I would, uh, I would strongly advise you to go for free shipping as much as you can. So. You know, I'm going to now continue to the payment method. Now, this is effectively, although I'm showing you how an order would work and what happens, I do this process uh, with my various sites or get people, you know, to basically help me do this process because as a, as a sort of a test order, okay? I do a test order periodically. And the reason why I'm telling you that is it's great, great advice to make sure that your website is working from A to Z, right, or A to Z, depending on where you're from. You'd be amazed the number of people that contact me and say, you know, I'm having trouble with my site, uh, you know, people aren't buying from me, I'm getting lots of add to carts, nothing's happening, blah, blah, blah. And I'll say to them, you know, well, have you, in the very first instance, checked to make sure that people can genuinely buy from your site? And they'll go through and, you know, in some cases, more than you might think, people come back and realize that actually their payment provider isn't working in the way they thought it was. So it's a great idea as well to, you know, as I'm showing you just a simple order process to factor into your whole business uh, periodic test orders, right? So as I click on continue to payment method here, then in this instance, you know, it's proposing me PayPal and I will then go straight through to complete order. So I'm now going to make that order and I'll see you on the orders page and show you exactly how that's going to look.